Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shape It Up Over 40. Today on this episode, I get this question a lot from clients, and it is, will I be sore after my workouts? So today, that's what I'm going to talk about, and we're going to talk about the two types of muscle soreness, and my philosophy on whether being sore after your workout is a good thing. So if you are listening to today's episode, the day it drops, September 28th, 2021, you have only a few days left to get the special podcast listener offer on Lose It For The Last Time group program. Your discount code is PODCAST, all in caps, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, and you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash dog, D-O-G, and read about it and sign up if you want um, I think on the last podcast, I said it goes until September 31st. And well, guess what? <laughs> there is no September 31st. There is only till September 30th. So September 30th of 2021 will be the last day to use this code. Again, the link is shapeitupfitness.com slash D-O-G, dog, right? And the code is podcast. So when you go to the shapeitupfitness.com slash dog link, you will see um, a, another button there. Just click on it and it will take you right to the homepage where all the information is about the group and you can read through it and then you can sign up right there. Just remember to use your code, which is podcast all in capital letters. Okay, so one of the fears we get is when we are starting back into a new exercise program and you've been off for a while, or if you're brand spanking new and have never really worked out like ever, you have a fear that you're gonna be really sore. And I get that. Wanting to walk up the stairs without holding on to the handrails for dear life, or being able to sit on the toilet and not fear that you're gonna be stuck there all day because you're so sore, you can't even stand up. I have been there many times, <laughs> so I get it. So there are two types of muscle soreness in general. So the first type of soreness comes on immediately after your workouts. And the second soreness is the one that kind of tricks you, you know, like you've done your workout and you're like, oh yeah, I'm good. I didn't have any soreness. And then like, bam, two days later, you are crying because you can barely lift your arms up to brush your hair. Right? <laughs> if you've worked out, you've experienced that at one time or another. So immediate soreness seems to be related to lactic acid buildup in the muscles. And the soreness tends to kind of dissipate between 30 and 60 minutes post-workout. So current research suggests that the latent soreness or DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, is coming more from micro tears in the muscle fibers. So it is believed that DOMS soreness is from the eccentric contraction of the muscle. So if you were doing a bicep curl, as you bend that elbow up and you're making a concentric, meaning contraction, a concentric contraction of the bicep muscle, as you lower it, you're lengthening that muscle. And that's what they're talking about, that eccentric um, contraction as I hit my coffee. You can't see that if you're on the podcast. <laughs> um, but as you straighten your arm, that eccentric part of the movement is what they're saying is causing the DOMS effect. So the eccentric phase, or in this case, the lowering phase is, a str is putting like a strenuous part on your bicep muscle, muscle and you could get DOMS in your bicep, okay? And this can happen in any muscle, quads, glutes, hamstrings, whatever, triceps, um, but just to use the bicep as an example. So DOMS is usually the soreness that literally bites you in the butt later on. So what can you do about this? So when you get over 40, it's really important to warm up and cool down before and after your workouts. If you want to grab a free copy of my five workout mistakes that women over 40 make, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash mistakes and grab your free guide. So over 40, you need a little bit more time to get that blood flowing, warm up those muscles, and then get into your workout. And also in reverse, you want to bring your body back down to neutral. And basically when you're working out, if you're getting a really intense workout, it's like slamming on the brakes in a car that's going like hundred miles an hour. You don't want to do that. You're going to shred your brakes. So you want to bring yourself back down to quote unquote normal, stretch, 
and do all that. But definitely grab that copy of your five workout mistakes that women make um, because there's a lot of good stuff in there that will help you prepping for your workout. Okay, so if you are new or haven't worked out in a long time, work with me to get a fitness program that is tailored for your needs and start off slowly. If you do get DOMS, right, delayed onset muscle soreness, do not sit around and do nothing. I know it's super tempting to just sit and relax because it feels really horrible when you're moving around, but it's going to make it worse and it's going to make it last longer. So go for a leisurely walk and then stretch. You can foam roll and then stretch, <laughs> do some yoga, which is stretching, take a hot, relaxing bath, and then stretch again. The more you can kind of warm up that body a little bit, again, with nice leisurely activity, and then stretch, the better you're going to feel. Aim to stay away from pain relievers, right? Your medicines, they tend to mask the pain, which again is what they're supposed to do. But then it kind of masks it in the sense like you feel fine and then you go do activities, which may make things worse. Not just also, not just increased muscle soreness, but you may wind up tearing something or pulling something either by pushing too hard or maybe overcompensating for the painful muscles. Our body likes to work as a team. And if one team member is injured, other body parts will take over and sometimes you can overcompensate. So the big question is, is the goal in working out to have muscle soreness? And I think it goes both ways, but it depends on quite a few things. So what are your fitness goals? If you are training for a fitness competition, like a bodybuilding competition, something like that, or um, like we do a local Goliathon or a Spartan or something like that, where there's, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting or endurance, that kind of thing. I suggest you get ready for some mega muscle soreness most of the time or extend your time frame. So like, say you decide to do a Spartan in six months. If you want less muscle soreness back out for a year or even like two years, there's a lot of bodybuilding and fitness competition people who purposely will take two years to build all the muscle. Yes, they're being, they're getting soreness, but it just, it's not as intense. So, um, so a lot, again, if you're in the fitness competition world or you're wanting to really gain a lot of muscle, that kind of thing. Uh, because you're aiming to build that kind of muscle, you do want to break down those muscle fibers because the way it works is you cause micro tears in the muscle and that's how the muscle rebuilds. So you get these tears and your body's like, oh, you're injured. So let's go in and rebuild it and make it stronger. So that's how you build muscle. Um, there's a little bit more involved in that, but that's the gist of it. If you're looking to quote unquote tone up or just fit better in your clothes, then you may have some muscle soreness, but you really don't need to be sore after every workout. Now I hear, but Nicole, if I'm not sore, I don't feel like I did anything. I like being sore sometimes too, but the majority of the time, I don't want to be sore, especially being 48. <laughs> now I'm newly 48, but <laughs> when I'm sore, it doesn't just affect one muscle. It's like my knees and my hips want to chime in and kind of whine with the rest of the soreness. So when I work with clients, my goal is to not have them be sore, especially in the beginning phase. You have enough mind drama just getting to your workouts to like do them. <laughs> Being sore just adds a whole other layer of I shouldn't go into the mind mix. So I've always told my clients too that, you know, if you're sore, you want to do the next workout, even if they're sore, because you can go and do a light workout or make it easier, like lowering the dumbbells or things like that. You can make it easier on your body, but by doing the workout, even though you're sore, you're going to be loosening up those muscles and you're going to be staying consistent with your workouts. And that really is key, is being consistent with your workouts. And it doesn't mean you have to work out every single day. You, I have some clients that are doing like one day a week, two days a week. As long as you're consistent, we can build on that. All right, so to recap, there are two types of muscle soreness. 
right away, which is from lactic acid buildup. And the second one is DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. Very important when you're over 40, make sure you warm up and cool down and stretch, 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 stretch. Next is get a workout that is tailored for you and start off slow. Treat DOMS by warming up, stretching, and basically moving your body. And lastly, you do not need to be sore after every workout to get the body that you want to live in. If you want help putting this all together, you can work with me two ways. Group program, which is at shapeitupfitness.com slash dog. I know that's a weird link, but that's what moved me that day I created it. <laughs> so it's shapeitupfitness.com dog, D-O-G. And remember, use that promo code podcast before September 30th of 2020. 21 and you'll get a discount on the group program second way you can work with me is get customized tailored private help with me in my one-on-one -on -one coaching so uh, right now i have four openings for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program for this month you can jump on a discovery call with me at shapeitupfitness.com call c-a-l-l and we can sit down and chat and see if we are a good fit to work together. All right. That is all for today's podcast. I hope you have a fantastic day. I am going to be getting ready soon to go to the local boot camp that I am running. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Take care.